Plato 1 at a glance. This video is meant to give you an overview of the different modules which we provide in Plato 1. Plato 1 is a web-based software that means everything you do, you do it in the browser. After login, um, you are situated on, on the start page of 1's portal and you can use this search box to search for for anything you want and then you, you will see a result list and from there you can uh, continue to work in different modules of the system. Let me use the menu cube to go to the next module which I want to show and this is Eins Methods. Eins Methods um, allows you to, to use tables. For example here the table for the FMEA we have different versions available out of the box and um, in this table you can uh, work, you, you can create a system element and then just start typing to, to create your FMEA document and the result would be a similar table to this um, or you could first create a structure and this structure is displayed in the structure tree, you can see it on the left side. In this example which we uh, like to use for demonstration purpose. Uh, this is a finished uh, product which also has integrated process system elements. You can see them here, the pre-assembly of um, uh, an assembly or the final assembly, different types of system elements. How can we create such a structure? Well, this is done by using another module and this is Eins Architect. Eins Architect in the menu. If uh, if you know our other software tools which we have, um, um, the previous versions of our software called Skio, you may have heard of the matrix and this here, the Eins Architect, works very similar to that. It's basically a matrix um, which shows you uh, functions and failures of the actual level and also of the levels of subsystem elements, which means you can um, use this matrix to link or unlink um, failures with other failures. And by doing this you will create a failure network. You can see it here at the bottom of the screen. So here in Eins Architect you can create a system structure by um, having a hierarchy of system elements. You can add functions and failures and connect them. This would be the, the pre-work which you would do in a moderation uh, and then you would go to Eins Methods to fill out the rest of the form because um, causes and failures and effects and functions, those columns will already be filled out in the form and you would only continue with doing the, the risk analysis. There's um, another module which is um, which can be used to create structures which is called Eins Aspects. Let's go to Eins Aspects. On every system element you can create one or more aspects. There's a drawing area where you can move blocks on onto or you can use existing system elements, elements to drag and drop them, them on the on the drawing area and to create, um, yeah, to visualize um, um, your, your system. You can also use it to build a system, which means if you are now on located on a system element like this housing cover, you can create new system elements here and in this way create a hierarchy of system elements. And you can have different aspects. All the aspects are lined up here and every aspect can be totally different to the other one. And you can use also some, um, yeah, some other functions which are available here. You can add shapes, texts, and other things, and um, yeah, to, to build your, to visualize your system model. In the background, the modeling language SysML is used, so this can be used to create block diagrams, for example. Now that we have created structures and um, failure networks and things like that. Um, we can show those networks by um, going to Eins Foundation and Eins Foundation has three possible um, menu entries and one of them is Nets and here 
we can uh, navigate through the connected nets. For example, here we can see the system structure as a, as a net view, and um, it depends on where I click on, if I see a failure network or a function or a system element network. And you have access from, well, from, from many areas in the software to those networks. This is, as I said, kind of the, the heart of the software. Then we have uh, master data available here. Every system element can be yeah, can be provided with master data, and you can select schedule overview to show a list of your open FMEA actions. In my example, there are only two open actions for me as a user named Plato, and um, if I want, I can close those actions here. I can see details about them. I can jump to the form sheet if I want to and once they are closed they will disappear from this table. Everything I've done until now creates has created a lot of data and um, if I want to output this data, to export it, to put it into a, a file, then I can use Eins Output. With Eins Output you can create PDF documents and um, there are document files, which means they can contain chapters with information. This can be your FMEA table, this can be the structure tree, um, and other things. It depends on the output format, what will be part of this document. Out of the box we have um, some available, but they can also be customized. Um, once I have clicked on Start, the PDF will be created and of course you can send this by email to someone or save it locally, but a better idea would be to store it directly here in the database. And that is possible. You can share a created document and attach it directly to one of the system elements in the structure tree. Let's go to Eins Documents and then we will see how that looks like. Eins Documents also uses the structure tree um, it shows a little bit more. It shows also functions and other elements because um, it shows all the elements where you can attach a document to. You can see all the available documents here in the center of the screen and simply by doing drag and drop you can add a document here. This can be everything, an, an image, an Excel file, anything. So the, the PDF file which I've created an hour ago approximately is now here on that system element. I can see it there's a, a small number which tells me there's one uh, document attached. So here's a good place for that document. Everybody who has access to the system can have a look at it. Now a different topic. There's a module called Eins Flow. In Eins Methods it is possible to have a plain table which allows you to to display process step after process step, but only in the in the form of a table. If you want something which looks a bit more fancy, then you can use Eins Flow. In Eins Flow, um, first I would have to select a system element of type process. In Eins Flow, you can have um, yeah, a better looking version of that process flow, and you can use existing system elements and drag and drop them on the on the drawing area or process steps inside, inside those system elements. All of them are available here. And what makes it interesting is you can um, put everything on the drawing area you want, like images or shapes and links and texts. And well, you, can, you can spend a lot of time to make this a beautiful process flow. Okay, we are almost um, through. There's one module left which is called Eins Dashboard. Eins Dashboard is a reporting tool or a management tool. There's a cockpit which gives you general information of trends, of uh, the number of, for example, of, of actions which are uh, closed over time, risk graphs, system element statistics. So lots of things to discover here. and. Um, I need to go on a system element which actually contains FMEA data. This one does. So here we can see that the risk graph um, is now filled with numbers. They come from, 
from the causes of that FMEA in that system element, probability of occurrence um, um, com combined with uh, severity. We have three, a number of three causes which fall into this category and if I want to see details I can click on them and then it is possible also to jump directly into the FMEA, FMEA form to have a closer look at them. All of these um, dashboard reports can can be customized so you have a wide, um, wide, wide lots of possibilities here by doing um, those reports. Okay that was an overview of um, Plato 1, our modules and um, if you want just have a look at the other videos which give you a more detailed look into every module.